Hi guys, this is Shivadi. Welcome to the session on configuring SSL on Tomcat server. In this session, I'm going to explain how you can enable SSL on your Tomcat server. As we know that when you are start the Tomcat server, by default, you can able to access the Tomcat by using localhost colon 8080 port uh, number. Now, from this, basically, you can able to access the Tomcat server. But if you want to configure the um, HTTPS configuration on this particular server, it will not work for you because we need to add few configurations in order to enable SSL on the Tomcat server. Let's go ahead and see what are those steps in order to make your Tomcat server as a SSL. Now, the first thing is we need to create a key store file to store the server's private key and self-signed certificate by executing the key tool command. Now, the key tool command will come as part of your um, Java, uh, Java installation on your computer. Now, let us go to the any directory and say cmd. Now, first, what you need to do is you need to navigate it to the, um, the tom where you have installed the Java. So, in my computer, I stored at C program files and Java. And here, basically, I'm using JDK 1, 1 1.8 and then go to the bin folder. Basically, from here, you can able to access the key tool. So, key tool, say help, then it should give you some information about the key tool. Now, here, what you can do is you can generate the, um, you can basically generate the key store file uh, key store file to store the server private key. So you can generate by using the command key tool dash generate key and you can specify alias name as tomcat and then key algorithm is RSA. Yeah. Once you enter, it is asking for you the password. You can provide password as a change it and type once again, change it. And then it will ask you few information related to the certificate because whenever any client trying to access your application, you, they should able to understand uh, base, based on the input, whatever you are going to provide. Based on that, they can judge whether it is a correct certificate or not when the clients are trying to access it. So in this case, I'm giving like a test certificate and organization uh, demo and then demo. It is city, you can give anything like a Bangalore and state something, any, any information you can give and it say yes now when you say this um whenever you execute this command basically this is going to store by default under the uh, in the case of windows it is going to store under uh, username dot key store that is where it is going to store and in the case of unix it is the default user profile home where it is there it is going to store in that particular location now if you want to see uh, that particular key and you can access using the like this you can use see slash user slash admin slash and if you see dot if you say key store here basically the server private key just now you we generated it will be under this um under this particular location now the next step is now we need to go to the tomcat configuration folder here configuration folder and open the server.xml file in this server.xml file you can see the one section already it will be in the commentary that is for the define a ssl or tls http forward slash 1.1 connector on the port 8443 so basically we need to uncomment this session and we need to provide the connection or what you can say so the um, whatever this certificate we generated 
that information we need to provide here. Once we provide that information, we should able to access the SSL connection on that particular port. So I am going to disable it. And here it says like a port is 8443 and uh, this is the proto protocol. And here we need to add the few information related to the key store file. Key store file that is basically um, that is basically the key store where we have stored that one. So that can be accessed using user dot home and then users dot home slash dot key store and then it asks for you the password also so that password we need to provide as a key store pass equal to what is the password you are going to provide just we need to provide that information so once we provided this one and here if you see this is the connector basically the non-SSL is currently acting on this particular port so if you want to still want to be connected to the this port and then whenever any connection here automatically it will be redirected to the SSL connection so that's the reason once we have done this configuration just to go to the um, Tomcat server and just we need to restart it I am stopping this uh, Tomcat server and then we need to restart the server once again so catalan about start it is going to start the tomcat server okay now if i go to the server again if i access it with the http localhost 8080 which is the which is basically the um, non-ssl and if you want to access with the ssl just type https go forward slashes and then sm 8443 and this currently now this is going to be the https connection and you will receive this warning because your connection is not private because whatever the key tool generate the uh, private key is self cert uh, certified by us that is the reason this warning message will come but if you are taking any uh, certificate from like a CS um, certificate of authority like a very sign this certificate then this message will not appear so now whatever the request you are going to access on this particular port which is going to be encrypted and decrypted happens on the server both sides actually so whatever the request you make here the data transfer over the network is going to be encrypted at the same time decryption will happen now let us go to the manage app this is tomcat you can provide your um, manager or username and password and then you can access any application this is going to work for you okay so this is how basically you can enable um, enable SSL on the, on the Tomcat server now if you want to um, even if you if you don't want to any any non SSL connection needs to be happen then you can go ahead and comment out this session then the client can able to access only through this port that is a double four three hope you clear with how we can configure the SSL on the uh, on the uh, tomcat server and for example one thing i want to add here is if you want to provide any um, different path other than the default username then you can specify one more attribute saying key store and here you can provide the path to the uh, your custom uh, custom path in the in your computer then 
instead of actually uh, when you are configuring the um, when you are configuring the SSL on the Tomcat server, then you need to specify the key store path with the custom uh, path. If you don't provide anything, by default it is going to take from the this particular location. Oh, you clear with the how we can configure on the Tomcat server. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.